Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Todd. And my name is Sean. And we want to talk to you about being safe. We want you to be safe sheep. You're not a sheep. Yeah, I know, not for real. I'm a sheep. I know, I know. But we want all the kids to be safe, like, like sheep in a big flock. That's kind of weird. No, no, it's a great way to think about it because Jesus is the Good Shepherd and we're his sheep and he wants us safe. You do know that sheep are not very smart. Yes, I know, but... And sheep just follow everyone else. I know, but... And sheep don't smell so good. We want you to be safe, sheep. Nah. Hey, Mr. Todd, what are you doing today? Hey, Tyler, I'm writing a safety show. Oh, dude, can I help write the jokes? I don't need any help with the jokes. Oh, yes, you do. I heard your jokes. No, I'm just not sure how to start the show. Start with a joke. This is a safety show. I don't know what's so funny about safety. You're doing a safety show playing with dolls? I do not play with dolls. I play with puppets. That is so much better. Seriously, I don't know where to start. In the beginning. Exactly. I don't know what to do for the beginning of the show. No, no, no. In the beginning, when God made the heavens and the earth. Oh, from Genesis, uh -huh. the first book from the Bible. God made us, and he's our father. And that makes us his kids. And if we're God's kids, that makes us. Awesome. We are created in the image of God, so we're not just something, we are someone. And we have human dignity. What's that? The dignity of each person. We're special and we're loved and we have worth to God because we're his children. He wants us safe. That's a great way to start. Thanks, Tyler. Can I tell a joke now? I don't need a joke. That's a great way to start. It's a knock-knock joke. We don't need it. It's a sheep joke. It's a sheep knock-knock joke. Yes, okay, go ahead. Knock-knock, who's there? Interrupting sheep. Interrupting sheep. Ah, get it? I just interrupted you. <laughs> it's an interrupting sheep joke. You don't, you don't get it, do you? It's, it's, uh, yeah. So, uh, God is our Father, we are His children, so we have dignity. We deserve to be safe. Got it? This is my very good friend, Ricky. Hola, amigo. Ricky is a lizard. Oh no, I am not a lizard. I am an iguana. That's right. Ricky is an iguana. And today we're going to talk about SAFE. S-A-F-E, SAFE. What do you think the S stands for? Stink. Stink? Stink. No, it's not stink, no. S stands for SAFE. Do you know what SAFE is? See, safe is healthy, safe is protected, safe is not hurt. Oh, that's great. 
That's great. What about the letter A? A stands for allergy. Allergy? I have an allergy to things that stink. No, A is for adult. Safe adults are grown up who are safe. Exactly. A safe adult won't hurt you, won't scare you, won't make you feel yucky without a really good safe reason. Like what do you mean? Well, like for example, a doctor. Sometimes a doctor might make us feel a little nervous. We might have to get a finger poke and we might have to get a shot. And it might hurt a little bit at first, but it's for a really good safe reason. Safe adults respect you. Safe adults understand that you are a child of God. What about the letter F? F is for fish. Fish? See, stinky fish. Stinky fish? I have an allergy to stinky fish. No, F is for friend. Stinky friends? S no, no, safe friends. Oh, a safe friend is a friend who is, guess what? See, that's exactly right. Safe friends won't hurt you, they won't scare you, they won't make you feel yucky. Safe friends respect you. Then there's the letter E. Enchiladas. Enchiladas? Enchiladas made with stinky fish. No, I have an allergy to stinky fish enchiladas. Extra safe. Extra safe stinky fish enchiladas? No, extra safe adults. Extra safe adults are those very few adults who are extra safe. They're parents or grandparents or guardians who can help you to change clothes. They can help you in the bathroom or like a nurse or a doctor who helps you with checkups. The few extra safe adults who are in your life are the adults who are allowed to be with you when your clothes are off. So you should talk to your mom and dad so you know who are the extra safe adults. Remember safe. S-A-F-E. Safe. Safe. Safe adult. Safe friend. And extra safe adult. Got it? Got it. Like a safe sheep? Like a safe vegana. So, uh, SAFE stands for safe, safe adults, safe friends, and extra safe adults. Got it? I'd like you to meet my friend, Nugget the Turkey. Nugget, come on out. Come on, come on out. Nugget, what happened? Oh, the farmer's family tried to cook me. Were you supposed to be at the farmer's farm? Oh, no. I never got permission. Do your parents know the farmer? No, but he kept giving me food and candy so I would trust him. You took candy from a stranger? Well, when I told him I wasn't supposed to eat candy for lunch and that I had to go home right after school, he said those rules were silly. He didn't respect your family rules? No, the farmer said don't tell anyone. He said it's a secret. He tried to keep all this a secret? Yeah, he took me way back into his farm to cook me. Nugget, was anyone with you? No, he said come all by myself. Wait a second. Nugget, he told you to break family rules? He took you somewhere all alone? You never got permission? He wanted you to keep it secret? You took candy from strangers? Nugget, do you think those were safe things to do? Well, no. It's kind of like there were little alarms that were going off inside my head. You know, we all have those alarms sometimes. Sometimes things feel scary, or they just feel wrong, or, th or they feel yucky. You need to trust yourself when this happens. Something inside of you knew that this was not safe. When those alarms go off, we need to listen to them. We need to try to be safe. 
Never take candy or gifts from adults or older kids without mom or dad knowing about it. Well, what about Halloween? Well, sure, if someone's just being friendly or nice, or, or if they're just sharing at Halloween, that's all right, as long as your parents know. It's just a little weird for an adult or an older kid to give you something and then tell you to keep it secret from your parents. Those alarms should go off in your head. Safe adults and safe friends always respect your family rules. If they're telling you to break those rules, that's not safe. Those alarms should go off in your head. If older kids or adults say something needs to stay secret, and especially when it's something you know you shouldn't do, those alarms should go off in your head. If someone's trying to get you to do something in private, away from other people, without permission, those alarms should go off in your head. Oh man. Nugget, don't be a turkey. Well, I am a turkey. Yeah, but be a safe sheep. Ah. So, uh, you need to listen to those alarms that are going off inside your head, especially if someone's trying to break family rules, doesn't get permission, wants to keep things a secret. All right? This is my friend, Joe Dragon. You can call me JD for short. <laughs> Joe Dragon. You know what? You're just the guy I've been looking for. I am not a guy. What, you're a girl? Duh. You don't sound like a girl. Yes, I do. <laughs> so Joe Dragon isn't like Joseph. No, it's more like Joanna. No, Josephine. No, Joan. Just Joe. <laughs> Jojo the Jolly Dragon. Joe, let's pretend that a friend comes up to you. Who is it? I don't know, it's just a friend that you know. What does he look like? I don't know, he kind of looks like me. Oh, he's a real old guy, huh? Yeah, so you have a friend who comes up to you and this friend comes up and he's not being very safe. Uh-oh, he's not being very nice. This is not a safe friend. This friend is being rude and pushing you and breaking rules, touching you in unsafe places. You don't like it. What do you do? I would look him right in the eye. I really like that. She would look him right in the... And then I would lean in. She would lean in. And then I will say no. That's really cool. You know it, dude. When she said no, she said it like she meant it. Uh huh. She looked him right in the eye. Yeah, don't look him in the ear. That's kind of weird. And don't look him in the nose. That's kind of gross. And don't look him in the mouth. They might think you're trying to kiss them. <laughs> when you say no, say it like you mean it. Uh-huh, but what if your friend doesn't listen, huh? What if your friend calls you a scaredy cat? What would you say? Meow. What? I'm a cat. <laughs> what happens if this friend does not listen? What if this friend is still doing things that are not safe? Then I'll say no over and over again. Good idea. No, that's right. No, over, no, and over, no, again. No, JD, no, JD. Sorry. <laughs> so she would say no over and over again. But what if your friend still doesn't listen? What if your friend still is trying to make you do something that's unsafe? Then I think it's time to go. That's a great idea. First you say no, and then you go. That's right, you leave. Leave what? Leave your friend. Where am I gonna leave him? Leave him right there. What about me? You're gonna take off. What am I, an airplane? 
No, you're gonna get out of there. You're gonna say no, and then you're gonna go. And then what you need to do is show an adult what's going on. You need to tell an adult what's happening. So say no, and then go, and then show. That's right, you got it. But you start with a nice big no. <laughs> So, uh, if someone is being unsafe, you need to say no, then go and show a safe adult what is going on. Got it? Safe sheep are also very safe when they use computers and the internet. Never give out personal information online. Never ever give strangers your whole name, address, phone numbers, or any details about where you go to school. Use internet filters. Never use the internet without an adult nearby. Never ever plan to meet someone you've met online in a chat room or from a website. Do not respond to naughty, unsafe, or creepy emails, chat, or other websites. Immediately tell a safe adult. Keep the computer in the family room or another open area of your home. Remember, sometimes people online might lie and say they are kids or safe adults, when really they are not. You don't know who you might be chatting with. Be careful. Make sure your parents know who your online friends are, just like they know who your real-life friends are. Never ever buy something or sign up for something without a parent's permission. Make sure they are with you and they fill out the information. Never ever ever send pictures of yourself to people you do not know online. Make sure the kids' email addresses are not your real name. Make up silly names or names that don't tell anyone how old you are, whether you are a boy or a girl or where you live. Remember, safe sheep are safe online and with the computer. Be a safe sheep. Bye.